Thanks for staying with us. So um, we'll be having very soon on the show the Vice Chancellor of the Federal University, Oye Kiti Fuye, Professor Abayomi um, Fashinom, and he'll be our guest today to talk about what he's done so far in, uh, in the university, considering the fact that ASU might be um, going on strike very soon. What are his thoughts on that? And we'll talk about all the accomplishments he's had in the last one year. Welcome to the show, VC. Hello, thank sir. you very much. Good to have you on hello, the show. Hello. Thank yes. you very much. Yes, sir. Yeah, th thank you very much, moderator. <laughs> good, yeah. morning. good morning. Good morning, sir. So it's not like any school moderator. Okay, but it's all good. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, um, so you've been a vice chancellor for a whole year. And while as a vice chancellor, I'm, I'm hearing that ASU might be going on strike. I, they, they said that demands haven't been met, that all the federal government have been doing so far is just promises and no implementation. In your thoughts, what can, what, what can the university do to ensure that the school, the, ch the children, the students don't lose totally, even if ASU goes on strike? Well, basically, I can assure you that uh, ASU and government will resolve the matter over time. Uh, they will soon call ASU for talks, and I'm very sure the issue will be resolved. Uh, because of the millions of Nigerian students that will be affected. I'm very sure the two sides will reach a amicable settlement on this matter. It will not happen. This strike will not happen. I can assure you by God's words. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. So um, I heard that um, Foye was one of the schools that did emerge sessions as a result of the COVID-19. Um, how did you achieve that, sir? Well, we, we in the university, we are very hard working. At, at Senate, we agree that uh, we should work around the clock and make sure that we don't lose a session. But it came with a lot of uh, sacrifice on the part of our lecturers. And as a management team, we also have to give and take certain things. For example, we felt that as many people don't want to go on their leave, we can defer their leave. We did that. And at, during the Christmas, we also give people two weeks break to do their market. So that was a kind of motivation coming in that actually assisted us in stabilizing the system to ensure that we put in our best. And uh, of course, we, we didn't lose any session because we were working throughout and then <coughs> so there were a lot of motivation sent for the lecturers. And so we were able to key in. And then, so of course, they, they agreed that it was a kind of agreement between the lecturers and management. I right. said it all agreed that we should work in the interest of the students. And of course, for the interest of the university. Right. Maria? Okay. Um, I just wanted to ask the specifics concerning this COVID. Let me just quiz you a bit more. How did you keep the numbers? How did you uh, maintain social distancing and those things? Because those were one of the reasons why many of the universities didn't want their students back. How did you make sure that social distances were Hello? maintained in hostels? Can you hear me? Hello. I can hear you. I can hear you now, yes. Go, go okay. On. I said just a bit further on the COVID-19 um, and how you were able to, you know, continue um, school, even though many schools, many universities couldn't. I just wanted to find out how did you, how were you able to maintain social distances in hostel, in the university, in the lecture halls during that period? Well, I think what we did was we set up a committee that handled do that. The committee ensured that there was an enforcement throughout, and the, the state government too also came, you know, and there was also were teaching online. There was a blended teaching kind of a thing. The students were divided into groups uh, as advised by the state government uh, committee on COVID. We also have our own committee on COVID, and we ensured that there was total enforcement. Uh, this was actually at that to strictly. And I also did some kind of sensitization talk for all our students. Uh, of course, uh, we, well, we, we, any class that is uh, more than 100 go online uh, for teaching. So that was kind of blended way of teaching, right. and they were able to observe all the protocols, COVID protocols on campus. Right. And uh, with the committee was monitoring from time to time to ensure enforcement and make sure. Uh, in, in fact, I would say 90% of our students have been vaccinated because we did a kind of sensitization campaign right. for, for them to do this. Okay. So we, we, are, we are top, and we have not lost uh, any student to COVID or whatever in terms of, I'm not recording of fatality in terms of COVID. Don't come okay. God okay. has really helped us. Um, okay. Uh, um, happy to hear that, sir. I, I know that when it comes to universities, it is, we, they are the, premier, the first choice and then those that are second choice. Four years is relatively um, new in terms of being an institution, yet statistics is showing that 
it's one of the most chosen institutions. And I'd like you to probably remarket yourself. Why are we why are we choosing you? What do you think is making students consider your institution as an option for them? Yeah, thank you very much. One is, of course, let me say that we have the fifth most subscribed university in Nigeria out of our 170 something universities. Fifth most subscribed. That's the one. Number two is the fact that we have a stable calendar. Since I came on board for the last one year, our calendar has been stable. There's peace on campus. There's stability. Three is the fact that we introduced some new courses. Uh, pharmacy, uh, basic medical sciences, uh, environmental sciences. You will agree with me that we created courses. In fact, uh, in the next two months, medicine will come on board to complement pharmacy and basic medical sciences. So with these new courses coming on board, everybody wants to come to FOI. And the fact that there's peace on campus, and we have very qualitative lecturers, lecturer, quality lecturers, that teachers are well experienced, well, well exposed, international scholars, you know. So with all this, uh, let me say is that we have about 125 people in professorial grade, lecturers, about 74 professors and uh, 54 uh, readers with a lot of senior lecturers. So uh, th those are the factors that actually make people want to subscribe to us. And as a federal university too, our fees is not, uh, not so high. So these are some of the things that actually make people subscribe to us. Okay, sir. Uh, can you share some of the challenges you've met since you came on board? Because it's seeming like everything was is so just it's just <laughs> so easy for you. Can you share with us some of the things you had to overcome in this job? Yeah, th thank you very much. First, I want to say I want to give thanks to God Almighty. With God on your side, things will be very easy. Uh, minus God, you are nothing. We are nothing, and God has been there for us. That's number one. Uh, but some of the challenges are so many students, you know, students with their problems. We are not residential. We have very few people staying in the hostels. Students are living with them in, in the community, but we have been able to resolve this because we have community relations committee. The lawyer in Tansu, the king of Oye, we have a very good rapport with him. We set up a committee that works, some from our side, from his own side, and we have been working to monitor students. It's, it's not that we don't have practice, but what we have to do, and I will tell you, is that we are very proactive. Once we hear something, we live in the world before it, it, it snowballs into, into a big crisis. So we're in very close contact, dialoguing with our students, with the unions, and with the community. So we work together. You see, when you talk and you judge and dialogue very well, you can prevent crisis. The most important thing is to prevent crisis before it talk up. And that's what we have been doing as a university. All and right. that's been able to. So Some of the drivers of our vision, yeah. All right, so finally, um, I know that. Um, uh, my father-in-law was, uh, he was the, was the Michael Luluwali Afolabi. He was going to set up your library when he started, when, he, when, when he started earlier. How is the library now, oh, that, right that now? That's for Mife. Yes, for Mife, yes. Ah, that's fantastic. That, that fantastic about for Mife. Yes. I know very well. Yes. I have excellent, he laid a very good foundation for us. I want to give it to him. I, I was, I was at uh, one of the good I went, I led the team that, during, when he died, I led the team to Mife to go and control the with the wife. I, let, let me say this, the foundation laid by Baba Falabi was actually worth a cost. And since then, we have built on that foundation, we have consolidated, and things have been excellent. You see, once a very good foundation, of course, leave the rest. You know, the Bible went the foundation, the Bible can rush us to. This man laid the source in perfect place. He laid a very good foundation wow. that in our Thank library. You. And you can come to our library, it's one of the best. I'm not posting, you know. So, <laughs> that, that, so once the foundation is <laughs> right, just we'll get it <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, um, we learned that um, the Institute is trying to pr um, start a Foundations Day concept, and this is Honestly. something, a Foundations Day concept, and this is something that was practiced in the University of Ibadan that you um, went through, that you're a product of. What is this Foundations Day concept about? Could you explain it to us? Yeah, actually, you know that the university was at a particular point in time. Our university, we got that 10 university was started in 2011, in February to be precise. So what we are trying to do is to actually come back and use that February at the time the university was established and use it at the day we are going to be doing a convocation, we are going to be having foundation lectures, everything surrounds the day the university was established. And that's what we want to do. We want to institute as a day that we will be doing a convocation and then we are having foundation lecture in the founders day. And that's just the concept. We are going to, uh, we want to make we are proud that our university was established in February 20, 20, 2011. And so we want to preserve that legacy. So we are inviting some people, uh, one, the vice chancellor of, of one of the universities, uh, first director of the university, to come and institute that for what they would tell Chief Afri uh, they will come.
and then they call the institute, they are their founders day for foundation day, right. where every year in February, our convocation day will be in February 11. Okay, I have a call. Etu from Mina. Good morning, Etu. Are you there? Good morning, Morayo. You're live. Go ahead, please. Thank you, Morayo. I want to appreciate your program. Thank you, sir. I am calling from Mina, Etu Omar. Well, I, we want to appeal with federal government that uh, please, they should talk with the ASU. We don't want to see any strike now. Our, our children are actually suffering. And I also want to appreciate your guest. Uh, yeah, he spoke very well. So please, we are begging that uh, we don't want to see any strike now. These are, they should uh, sit down with ASU. Let them give them what they can give them, you know. Some of us who were expecting that when the Buhari administration came in, they would sit down and sort out all these issues of ASU, ASU, ASU. So please, they should try to uh, sort out all these issues. Uh, Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Thank really you Mr. Etu. How is Babangida doing? She's here for me now. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, please, you're going to ask a question? Yes. So uh, some people are asking uh, what else should they look out for with this university, sir? Well, we, when I came on board, uh, let me also say this, that I was the former deputy vice chancellor of the university for four years. Okay. Deputy vice chancellor administration for four years in this university. So I understand the theory very well. So when I came on board, I put forward 20 point agenda. And the 20 point agenda taught virtual every aspect of the university, starting from IGL to university branding, staff welfare, university ventures, ICT, you know, new programs. So for me, we are moving forward to the next level. Uh, in the last one year, we have achieved so much. Uh, thank God for me to embrace some of this we have achieved. Our ideas has increased. We have new programs. Uh, we now have 11 faculties against, as against eight. The mm -hmm. College of Medicine is going to start in May. In fact, we have started. Let me say the College of Medicine have started. NUC advanced visits, they came, and they have been on the north. What they are coming for in the next is resource verification. And when they come, they will look at the facilities again and they will ask us to admit students in May. So we, are, we, are, we have a lot of we have ventures on, on campus, we have our bakery, we have our press. We virtually want to be doing things on our own and also service our community. We don't okay. want to go outside and be doing things using our money. We want our staff, our industry, we want to create industry more on campus that will serve the community, that will serve the state, if possible, serve this country. Wow. So that's where we're going. We wow. believe that if we, if, if, we, if we do things well, the university to serve as a point where as an average tour, where it can provide service to the community, and to the nation, to the state, and to the world. That's, that's, that's our vision. And I think we are, the Lord is helping us. Thank you very much, that. sir. We, right. we, the 20, the 20 point agenda, we have, we have virtually done 90% of the 20 point agenda that we started as a vision because we have the right set of drivers who are driving the vision. Sir. Thank you very much, sir. It was a pleasure having you, sir. Thank you very much. We wish you the best as you Thank achieve you more much. in the federal you. government. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, Have a nice day. Have a nice day, sir. All right, so, yeah. I'm usually let, let's used to say. seeing VCs, you know, looking... Um, elderly? Wh yeah, elderly, white hair. So he looks Green. really good. Uh -huh. See how he's just really nice. Very passionate. Yes. 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 Everything at the finger, at the fingertips. Yes. 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 So he's, he's, he's aware. Hands. He's aware. He's, mm. he's on ground. He knows mm. what's going on. That's what I mean. We need more of young people like this to take these kind of key roles. Our boat cruises this weekend? Yes. We need to remind everyone. Get your the Valentine's <laughs> boat. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the ladies of your view and I will be having a boat cruise titled an evening with the ladies of, of your, your view. view. It promises to be an exciting evening of lots of fun to participate. Please call um, the number 08138590726. Let me take that number again. It's on the screen. 08138590726 to get your tickets so that we can see you on Saturday. I think it starts at 3 p.m. We'll be there on boat. Uh, I'm not sure it's about, about I'm not sure how long the road ride is. There's gonna be lots of music, dance, three course meal. I can't wait to see the food. I hear the food's gonna be great. I can't we wait. We will be just and um, talking and BC will be anchoring oh us on a hot <laughs> you know Valentine Steamy. topic. Steamy, Steamy Valentine Steamy. topic. Steamy. Yeah. Steamy. Wow. Steamy. Steamy. I'll just be quiet. I'll just be like Steamy on the I'm reading my Bible. Again. Again. I'm reading my Bible. Bible. <laughs> <laughs> BC will be handling the conversation. <laughs> That's all we can take on the show. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye.